I did want to kind of tell you from a store owner perspective more about Mark's cards. And the one element that really, really gets me, and it gets me really, really upset, is the fact that at one point in time, when PSA closed its doors, and eventually PSA didn't close its doors for a week, a month, they closed their doors for a good nine months, almost a year, in terms of the bulk submission, which Mark's cards was mainly doing. And at that point, Marx was still paying, his, according to Marx himself and his uh, attorney, they were still paying $70,000 a salary. And that part, never I never really understood. So people, you know, the main business is to do the PSA card submissions, right? And then I guess clean the, the store. Why would you need to pay $70,000 to all these people when, in fact, there's nothing for them to do? So that's the part that I don't understand. That I think when if the courts hopefully look deeper into it, I think their payroll was all family members or a large majority of that money was going to family members. Uh, we all know that Marx, so from the, the top, we know Marx, Marx's brother, Marx's brother's wife, Marx's his own wife and his friend, they were the salaried employees that we know of but there's still, even if you combine all of their salaries, right? There's still a lot of salary missing if we're talking about $70,000 a month. $70,000 a month in salary for a card store is insane. Now, if his argument is okay, they're mostly for PSA, well, PSA is shut down and it will be shut down eventually for a very long time. So how, why are you still hiring these people? Why are you still paying these people? They literally have nothing to do. So like from as a business owner, let's say that we make YouTube videos for clients and then suddenly YouTube gets, you know, it is no longer accepting new videos. YouTube no longer wants videos. YouTube as a platform shuts down for whatever reason. Why would then I keep my staff? And I don't know how long, but it is suspected that YouTube will be shut down for a long time. Why would I then, you know, why? Look, it's not about Marx being a good boss. I think it's something deeper. And that's is what I would love to investigate. I would love to see the actual documents on who got paid what. <clears throat> we don't know. 70K is massive. I mean, just a massive amount of money. It is $840,000 and just salary, just salary a year. 70K is you could pay seven people, Marx's family, $10,000 or $120,000 salary a year for a card store. That's the part that I am very curious to learn more about because at the end of the day, it's a part that makes no sense to me. A, why is it so high? Why is that salary, why is your payroll so damn high? And B, okay, cool. PSA is shut down. We would expect you to lay off some people. Why did you refuse to lay off people until you ran out of money? That's kind of the most curious case to me. I've never seen a salary that high for a card store. I can tell you what I paid. I paid $15 an hour for one employee at the, the first car store, we have two employees and they got $15 an hour and they got overtime if they did overtime, which is a time and a half. Nobody was making no $70,000 a month. And I didn't take a salary, I didn't take any money. So again, if I paid myself like Mark's cards, many of these store owners are not going to pay themselves a salary until after three, four years when the store is more stable. I've never seen a store owner pay himself that type of salary, pay his brother that type of salary, pay his wife that type of salary, and pay his brother's wife that type of salary, and pay their friends that type of salary. It just honestly doesn't make any sense. If he wanted it to be successful, he would do what most business owners do. Don't take a salary until it's profitable, until you reach profitability. Um, and you might think that's crazy, but I can tell you in the sneaker realm, um, they talk about this all the time, two J's. 
Listen to some of his stuff when he first started. Uh, very inspirational. Two J's and um, the common hype. Common hype was talking to private selection about you know living together and starting and uh, I think private selection, a big shoe sneaker store in Dallas. They have a really interesting YouTube channel. Um, they were talking about how like they didn't take money out for two, two, two and a half years until they hit a certain amount of profitability. Then they finally took a salary. And they were talking to Common Hype, who's a little younger. And Common Hype, they all live together to save money. Like all of them live together in the same home. And they're not ashamed of it. So I don't understand how like you start a business and you do the one core element that no one ever does. No successful business has ever launched. Amazon launched from a garage. Uh, Apple from a garage. Nobody, when they start, you think Steve Jobs, when he started, hey, you know what we should do? We should all pay ourselves $70,000. That business would never get off the ground, but in for Mark's cards, he did. You know, I mean, he himself has said this. It's not me making this up. It's, it's, his, it's his bankruptcy attorney's own words. It just drives me crazy. I mean, he's paying $70,000 and no one has anything to do. Because PSA is shut down. It's crazy. Bye, guys.